feeling a bit down, a bit nervous, those post-holiday blues. Yeah, Anxiety UK say those blues could be more serious, as many as 1 in 20 children suffering from extreme anxiety known as school phobia. Yeah, we're joined now by Kay Mawson and her 12-year-old son, Andrew, who's lived with the condition for four years, along with child psychologist Laverne Antrobus. Good to see all of you this morning. Now, pleased to say that you're talking to us, aren't you, uh, Andrew, from a position of feeling better now and having conquered things. But tell us how you felt when you really was in the grip of this school phobia. Well, it was like I just felt pain whenever I went to school or got near the school gate. I just couldn't get anywhere near it. Or when we waited in the reception, the bell went, I just completely changed. And what do you mean by pain? Was it sort of panic or...? or panic, yeah. Oh. And did, did you always know that it was related to school? Did you have uh, those experiences in other walks of life or parts of your life? Uh, well, there's some events that's happened in my life that I think that's caused it. But, but I just kept on like getting scared, just going to school and wanted to stay home. Didn't want to leave my mum anywhere. So I just, but then I conquered it and mm. kept on working on it. Good for you. And this must have been strange for you, the mum, because yeah. I suppose your first thought is, oh, typical youngster, doesn't want to go back to school. Come on, off you go. When did you think, hmm, this is a bit different? Well, the, the first major incident was um, actually when Grandad was taking him to school. Um, and um, Grandad had uh, rang me and said, you know, Andrew came. Um, had, had clung to him, physically oh. clung to him for dear life, terrified. Um, and it was a, an assumption that um, going to school and being this grip with fear that mm. it was maybe a case of bullying. Um, it wasn't until I actually had an episode um, with Andrew for myself that I actually saw this. So it wasn't bullying, it wasn't related to no, anything? No, it was actually, like I sat Andrew down, had a sincere talk with him, you know, um, we had, have a really good relationship. I realised there was something more behind this. And th that, I guess therein lies the problem, Laverne, doesn't it? Is putting your finger on what the issue is. And because this seemingly is so rare, it's not an easy task. I think that's right. And I think it's really important this morning to make the distinction between sort of ordinary anxiety, which we all have. You know, there'll be lots of parents this morning who've got children who are struggling mm. with that idea of going back. <coughs> but, you know, <coughs> excuse me, for most, for most children, it's an ordinary anxiety. It's not truanting. Because truanting is not about fear of school, that's about being bored or a bit angry. But for, for Andrew, I think it was a real sense that something incapacitated him, you know, that made him feel truly terrified of this thing called school. And it sounds as if through talking to him and beginning to unpick and uncover the problem, often there is, an, there is a trigger to this, you know, mm. there is an incident that does sort of flare things up for, for young people. And it's important to make sure that you identify that. Kay, did you find that the school was sympathetic? Did they get what was going on? Or did they just think, oh, he just doesn't like school? I mean, did they sort of understand it? Um, no, we, we didn't get much support there at all. The, the problem that we had was um, going to the school, we were reminded about the, the laws of truancy. Ah. Um, they were harsh on Andrew, you know, putting that reminder in place. Um, and in the end, a GP had to call them and say, can you please work with this mother? She's, she mm. needs, you know, she understands a child needs to get into school, but she also needs to work with the child to help him. Can you not hinder this? Right, so you're yeah. hugely frustrating and unpleasant at times, yeah. but happily you're through this. So are you looking forward to going back to school? I'm looking forward to it because I'm back in secondary school, so ah. I'm going to see all my friends. But I'm glad I got I conquered my fear yeah. of school. Good for you. Yeah, and well done. Brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Good for coming and speaking about it as well. Some people would be very nervous about yeah. that, but you're very confident. So that's brilliant. Good to speak to you. Yeah, job for you in TV one day, perhaps, with that kind of confidence talking on camera. I could learn, I think. It's going to say. From we, yeah, because I'm really, this morning, I'm really strong as a presenter on my first day back <laughs> at school. Laverne, as well, thanks very much, Steve, for coming and offering your insights.